From the Canyon of the Shiny Stones? Nope, from right around here. Pretty, isn't it? Whoa. <laughs> what is it, Trisha? She's hungry. We found a great tree star tree, but the good ones are too high for me to reach. Well, let's go get you a snack. <laughs> Everything's too high today. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. my pretty stone. That's all you care about, your pretty stone. I just scraped my chin trying to save it, but do you care? No. <laughs> Sarah? <laughs> okay, everybody hide. One tree star, two tree stars, three tree stars, four tree stars. I saw you there, and here you are, so I must have found you. Ruby's right. She finded you. You are it, Sarah. Yep, yep, yep. How can I be it when I wasn't <gasps> even playing the game? Sarah, are you okay? No. <sighs> I yelled at Tria. I told her she cared more about her pretty stones than about me. Why'd you do that? Well, I didn't really mean it, but I was just so mad. What made you mad? Well, see, I sort of, by accident, 
let her favorite pretty rock fall in the fast water. Uh. If it was an accident, then you could just say, oops, eeps, and apologize. I could say what? You just say, oops, eeps, oops, eeps, I made a mistake. Oops, eeps, oops, oops, eeps. Oops, eeps, oops, eeps, I made a... Um... Oops, eeps, oops, oops, eeps. I was all alone when I lost Tria Stone. Oops, eeps, oops, eeps. I let out a shout. her pretty rock. That's a nice idea, Ducky. But it's not enough. I gotta do something more. Hey, how about we bring Tria all the tree stars we can carry? Spike will just eat them all before we can get to my sleeping place. <laughs> I know. We could take her some fuzzy crawlers or some buzzy flyers. Then you'd eat them all. <laughs> I know! We can go to the Canyon of Shiny Stones and bring Tria back another one! Great idea! Petrie, what's wrong? <laughs> me... not sure me wanna go. But why not? C -c Canyon of Shiny Stones near S -S -S Smoky Mountain. Yeah? So? <laughs> me no like Smoky Mountain. It, 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 bad place, too smoky. I do not understand. What is so bad about Smoking Mountain? It has big black smoke that makes sky all dark and spookily. And sometimes it get all shaky. Like Sarah when she mad. Huh? Petrie, we're just going to walk past Smoking Mountain, okay? It'll be fine. Sure it will. Just because it shakes like Sarah does not mean it is scary as Sarah. No, no, no. Uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> have you ever even seen the Smoking Mountain? <laughs> sure me have. From way far away. I bet it's not that bad close up. You could fly over it and see for yourself. What? This smoke probably so thick up there me get lost or, or fly right into something. Oh. Yeah, that'd be bad. <laughs> okay. Well, me think me better head home now. Petrie, look. Nobody wants you to do anything that makes you scared. Okay. Thanks. called the Booming Mountain, because sometimes it booms. <laughs> it... It booms? Not much farther now. The Canyon of Shiny Stones is just beyond the mountain. Mountain is 
doesn't look bad at all, does it, Petrie? No. The Canyon of the Shiny Stones is just over there. We just walk around the edge, down the other side, and we'll be there. See, Petrie? Nothing to be scared about. Stop calling me scared! Me not scared of Smoky Mountain. In fact, me could fly over Smoky Mountain if me wanted to. Huh? <gasps> Petrie, no! You don't have to do that. Yes, me do. Everybody watch! <laughs> He's doing it! Me doing it! Me flying over Smoky Mountain! didn't make the mountain mad. How you know? Me fly over, it go boom. Me stop flying, no more boom. Okay, fine. So just don't fly over it and it won't happen again. <laughs> don't worry. Me not fly over it. Me not fly anywhere near it. Guys, we'd better move if we're going to get to the canyon and make it home before dark. Well, here we are. They call it the Canyon of the Shiny Stones. Look at this one. <laughs> and this one. <laughs> and here's a whole bunch. There's so many. I don't know which one to choose.
lost. <gasps> it's beautiful! Yes, it is! Yes, yes, yes! If only I could get it loose! Let me just... <clears throat> oh, somebody grab it! I got it! Not good. No, oh, this all my fault. Smoky Mountain's still mad at me. Really, really mad. We gotta get out of the canyon before the flowing fire gets down the mountain and cuts us off. so quiet lately. I hope the kids aren't getting bored. Mommy! Petrie? Oh! Oh! Ah! Ouch. Well, what is it, Petrie? <gasps> me, me friend.
friends they need help um is it just me or is it getting kind of hot around here it's not just you i hate to say it but i'm hungry i wish you would not look at me when you say that yes i do i really do Guys, me coming! Petrie! You did it! Grandma! Grandpa! We're here, Littlefoot. Just climb aboard, kids, and we'll go for a ride. Here you go, kids. <laughs> Watch your step now, one at a time. Tria! Wait till you see what I have. We came all this way to get you a new shiny stone and... Sarah! Oh! Look out! Sorry, Tria, about everything. I'm just glad you're safe, Sarah. You're much more important to me than any shiny stone. Well, time to head home, everybody. Looks like we'll have to take the long way around. Not us. We flyers. And Smoky Mountain, just a mountain. Last one home, a rotten hatchling! <laughs> Shadows we are making, Petrie. Me not afraid of Ducky Shadow. Me afraid of that. I have not seen anything like that before. Oh no, no, no! It sure is strange looking. <laughs> Me not know, but me think it got Sarah! All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Come follow me. Yes, the climb and valleys to go. Take that shortcut. Sarah? <sighs> oh, I'm glad it's you, and not the you I thought was you. <sighs> Why are you guys just standing there? <sighs> Hello? Can someone help me get this thing off my horn? <sighs> Come on, everybody, let's pull! <laughs> Ruby, are you okay? <sighs> oh, my! My star! Me, sometimes.
time see stars when me fall. No, my star day star. Look, it's the one right there. It's special because it can only be seen three nights between cold times. Once the star is a foot away from the night circle, it will be my star day. A star day? What's that? A star day is the day you hatched. My mom said that same star appeared in the same place on the same day I hatched. Oh, yeah. It was your star day the day we left the mysterious beyond. Happy star day, Ruby. I'm glad we could spend this star day together. Me too, Mom. Just saying I love you doesn't say how much I love you. Oh. And we love you too, Ruby. I already miss you, and I haven't even left. Well, you must learn how Chomper's friends in the Great Valley work together. Yes, Ruby. That knowledge could one day save us all Red from... Claw! Go quickly, kids. Yes, Ruby. Come on, Ruby! This way! Day was the last day I saw my family. Sorry. Star days with my family were always so happy that thinking about it makes me sad. I didn't mean to make you sad, Ruby. Come on, let's play some more shadow games. <laughs> Thanks, Chomper, but I don't feel like playing anymore. understand. Ruby not alone. She with us. But we're not her family. It's just not the same. She misses them very much. She does. She does. I'm gonna go cheer her up. Let's not make it worse. Star Day today, Ruby. And it's important for you to be clean for your special celebration. <laughs> After all, a Star Day is a very happy occasion. <sighs> Why does thinking about happy Star Days make me feel so sad? I didn't mean to make Ruby sad. I was trying to make her happy. Hey, I have an idea. Let's have a giving ceremony for Ruby. That is a very good idea. It is, it is. <laughs> and 
hand. We can make it a surprise. Oh, <laughs> me love surprise. <laughs> wait, everybody, wait! Um, what's a giving ceremony? A giving ceremony is when you give someone their favorite food, duh. <laughs> a giving ceremony is a time for celebrating friendship, giving... <laughs> <laughs> and also sharing. So what's Ruby's favorite food? I know that! It's sweet bubbles! Oh, yes, yes, yes! Sweet bubbles are her favoritest. They are! Then we'll go get them at the first sign of the bright circle. Yeah! We'll give Ruby the best star day ever! Us. The surprise will be ruined. Ruby's busy washing, so now's the time to go. Where are we going to find sweet bubbles around here? They don't exactly grow on trees. No, but they grow on vines hidden in the sheltering grass. Sh sheltering grass? <laughs> no, 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 no. It doesn't matter where they grow. If they'll make Ruby happy, they'll go anywhere to get them. Right? Right. Right? right? Close to Mysterious Beyond. Don't worry, Petrie. We'll be fine. Do you guys 
guys smell that? My sweet bubbles. Get your own somewhere else. We came for sweet bubbles and we're leaving with sweet bubbles. Got it? <laughs> Ew. That was gross. What we do now? I'm a sharp tooth. I can scare him away. <laughs> that even grosser. What if we tell him why we need the sweet bubbles? He's too busy eating to listen. I think it's worth a try. Excuse me. We would like to have some sweet bubbles for our friend Star Day. <gasps> they are her favoriteest food. Star Day? Did you say Star Day? Why, I've loved my Star Day ever since I was a hatchling. Take as many as you like. This is our house. like a star day to make you feel nice and <laughs> happy. Everybody. Let's make a giving place. Shouldn't someone who knows a little more about giving ceremonies be the one giving the orders? Chomper? Littlefoot? It is Ruby. Oh, no, no, no. Ducky, Chomper, let's go stall her. Sarah, you finish setting up. <laughs> Oh, hi, hi Ruby. Uh, Ruby. Is there something wrong? Uh, no, we're just, uh, uh... Coming back from a long walk and, um... We are very tired. We are, we are. <sighs> oh, well, I was hoping we could all get together and play together. Well, we should probably take a rest. Maybe later. Oh. Okay, maybe I'll just go to my thinking place to watch my Star Day star. <sighs> well, I guess a lonely Star Day is better than no Star Day. Because if I didn't have a Star Day, then I wouldn't have hatched. And not hatching would be much lonelier than a lonely Star Day. <gasps> Oh no! 
That is Ruby yelling! She's at her thinking place! Follow me! where we were going to have your giving ceremony. We even got your sweet bubbles. <laughs> These were for you, Ruby. Sorry your star day isn't so happy. Mm, but it is happy. It is? Sure, you didn't have to do what you did, but you did. Surprises are always surprises. Maybe Tria learned to fly. Oh. <gasps> well, that big surprise. Hello, kids. Nice Hello. to see you, Hi. Tria. So, what's the big surprise? Oh, Sarah, always to the point. 
today I'm taking you to my favorite place in all the Great Valley, my secret getaway. Oh no! If it's secret, how do we know about it? Because she's going to tell us, right? Yes, please tell us. What is it? It's my secret mud pool. Huh? We're going to a mud hole? All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Come follow me. Hills to climb and valleys to roam. Oh, streams to follow all the way home. To the land before time. I think you kids are just going to love my secret mud pool. What's to love about mud? Oh, this mud is special. You'll understand when you sit in it. We're supposed to sit in the mud? Mm, and just let yourself go. Ah, oh, it might be nice to go and let myself go. Hmm. Oh, uh, me think, uh, uh... We were... Uh, in the middle of the game, stop the seed. And we did agree to finish it, right, Ducky? Uh, mud might be nice. Yup, yup, yup. But I know you cannot finish the game without me, so I will stay. <sighs> What's this? Hmm? I thought you'd be off having fun already. Dad, I don't want to go sit in some mud hole. Tria put a lot of thought into this little trip. If you don't go, I'll never hear the end of it. But, Dad... You're going. <sighs> I'll go. <laughs> <sighs> Come on, Sarah. The sooner we go, the sooner we'll be on our way. And the sooner we can have fun. <sighs> Fun at a mud hole? Right. Here we are. Lovely, isn't it? Being here is even better now that we're here. <laughs> <laughs> it's just mud. <sighs> Me glad we not at mud pool. Me no think mud good for wings. Now! Hey! We got it! We got it! <sighs> It. Yeah, but I won't. <laughs> huh? Look like tooth. Like your tooth, Chomper. My tooth? On the ground? But my teeth are supposed to be in my mouth. Me agree, but that tooth definitely not in that mouth. My tooth! My tooth! My tooth! Does it hurt? No. You think it will? I am sure it will all be okay. Okay? Okay! What's next? An arm? A leg? My tail? Not my tail! What's happening to me? Me never hear of Tooth just falling out. Never? Never? Well, I have. Huh? And I wouldn't get too attached to that tail if I were you. Oh, I am certain Chomper is very attached to his tail. Yup, yup, yup. It's true. I am. It starts with a tooth, and before you know it, the fellas turn into bones and fall into pieces. I don't want to turn to bones. It isn't up to you. 
Mark my words, by nightfall, you'll be nothing but a pile of bones. Wait! How do I get my juice back in my mouth? Hmm. We could ask Mr. Thicknose. He's heard about all sorts of things. You came to the right place, Chopper. I've heard of many ways to stick things together. No reason they wouldn't work on teeth. You think so? Certainly, my boy. Say I and open wide. And I'll take a look inside. With some sticky tree star juice. That old tooth should not come loose. I'll fix your tooth. Flower dust might do the trick. Maybe mud that's nice and thick. You know what? I'm sorry, son. I can't fix this one. Can't fix my tooth? Cannot fix his tooth. Sorry, it's the truth. Too bad it's the truth. He cannot fix your tooth. Poor, poor little tooth. My apologies. I tried to please. Can't fix your tooth. I am sorry none of my sticky solutions worked. Until today, I've always tried to avoid direct experience with sharp tooth teeth. If only sharp teeth lived here, so I could ask them about teeth. Huh? <gasps> what about Ruby? Ruby? She doesn't have any teeth! But she's lived in the mysterious beyond, where there are lots of sharp teeth. Maybe she has seen this before. You think so? Mm-hmm. Ruby knows many things. She does. She does. Maybe she fixed tooth. But she's not here! And what if she's not back by nightfall? I could fall totally apart by then! Then we'll just have to go find her before that happens. Um, not that it will happen. But we do not know where the mud pool is. Say, chopper good smeller. Maybe he follow Ruby's smell. I'll sure try. What kind of a three-horn sits in mud? It's just as silly to sit there and watch, Sarah. Good point. I won't watch anymore. to the secret mud pool a while, but I do not know if we are getting there. Maybe that why Tria calls secret mud pool secret. We're okay, as long as Chompers got their scent. <laughs> huh? Sniffer says, then we go in there too. This sure strange place for relaxing. I do not think I would be relaxed in here. No, no, no. It's not so bad. Ouch! Something bite, Petrie. Oh boy! A buzzing buzzard! <laughs> Me no think they taste good, Chopper. Yeah! Mmm, spicy. 
Well, at least you scared the stinging buzzer away. Oh no, here he comes again. <gasps> and he brought in all of his friends. Run! having fun. Steaming buzzers not follow us. Then we are safe. You fix it. Not if we can't find her. My sniffer led us into that cave. Oh no! Maybe my nose is going to fall off next. <gasps> hey, why didn't I think of it before? We can use the looking rock. Grandpa says you can see the whole Great Valley from the top. Sometimes me scare me. <laughs> Look, the mud pool, just beyond the murky swamp. That easy to find. Are you finished relaxing yet? Come on, Sarah, try dipping in one toe. <sighs> Fine. It's warm. Mmm, that's what makes it so nice. I didn't say it was nice. It's still dumb. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> this is supposed to make me relax. 
relax? <laughs> now that you're in, doesn't it feel good? Well, it's better than usual, Mud. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, this place not smell so good. If you lived here, I am sure you would get used to it. Yup, yup, yup. <gasps> Me, not so sure. Right now, it wouldn't be so bad if I lost my nose. Hey! Oh, no! Sinking sand! <coughs> Chopper, get out of there or sinking sand will pull you in. I'm trying. <coughs> <coughs> to us if you have sharp teeth or no teeth. That's right. You'll always be our friend, Chomper, no matter what. But what if Mr. Threehorn's right and I turn to bones? The mud pool's just past those trees. Maybe Ruby knows something. But Chomper does not want you to leave his tooth, even if it is in the sinking sand. Me stay with Chomper. You go. Find Ruby and others. Thanks, Petrie. We'll be right back with Ruby. Uh, excuse me. Have you seen a fast runner with a spike tail and two three horns? Oh, hi, guys. What are you doing here? Sarah? It is you? Sarah, we have to find Ruby. It's important. Uh, follow me, please. Here we are. Ruby! We have been looking for you all day. Yup, yup, yup. Ah, uh, I'm right here. Of course, I'm always here, since here is wherever I am. Chomper needs your help! Huh? He's not far! Come on! Follow us! Follow us! You guys really need to relax. He's right here! Are you okay, Chomper? No. My tooth is gone. Forever! What? You interrupted our relaxing day for a tooth? A tooth? One day I try to relax. You guys come out here and spoil Now, my... now. We're just glad Chomper's not seriously hurt. Not hurt? I'm falling apart. Have you ever seen a sharp tooth with a missing tooth? Oh, yes. Huh? I've seen it more times than I care to see. <gasps> really? Why, sure, Chomper. You're going to lose all your teeth. All of them? Ah! Normal sharp teeth normally lose their teeth. So if you lost your tooth, you're a normal sharp tooth. I'm normal? 
Here, give me your claw. Feel that? That's your new tooth. New tooth? Yes, new tooth. And this new tooth will be new until you're old. Really? Hey! <laughs> 